Hello lovelies! So I wanted to do this tutorial for a long time now and I just haven't gotten around to it but it's raining outside and I have nothing else to do today so I thought I'd do this. Um, I'm going to show you guys how I just curl my extensions into my hair because that's usually how I wear my hair unless my hair is blended while it's straight which right now it's not. You can see my hair and the extensions and some of it's wavy and just weird so I'm going to show you how to do that. So first thing we're going to do is take a heat protectant and I use the Tresemme Thermal Creations heat protectant and my bottle is broken so I'm probably going to spray this a little weird. <laughs> Let's see. Eat it all. And then I just run my fingers through it after I spray that in. Cause, oh, I gotta get my bangs. Ooh, it's kinda cold. Ugh, and I got it on my face. Anyway, I just run my fingers through it to get it all over my hair. It smells good. <laughs> all right, then after that's all come through, I just make sure my bangs are the way I want them. Oh, and the other thing, I'm doing this with a straightener. Let me show you how to curl it with a straightener. Because we have a really cold, really cold, really old curling iron. And it doesn't really do anything. So I use my straightener. Alright. Those look fine, don't they? Don't they look just fine? Look at this. Look at this. Little dip. Gotta fix it. And my blue spot. Isn't that fantastic, guys? Don't you love that? Alright, so I guess I'm gonna have to tilt you guys down. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Should have thought about this, but I'm not very smart. So. First thing I usually do is start with the front sections and I just grab a little bit and I want to make sure I got some of my hair and some of the extension in there and I start by flipping out away from my face. So I just take the straightener and curl outwards. I just turn the straightener once and I just drag it down slowly. I don't like things too curled and see how it's kind of derpy right there? We're gonna come back to it. But this is all I do for now is leave that little curl there. And then the next part little section I curl towards my face. Flip it! And then I just leave it like that. And then I keep going back and forth with all the curls, just getting mostly the bottom parts. So I will do that. Speedy! So then as soon as I have all of the bottoms curled, then I can go back and get some of this so it looks like it blends in. And all I do for that is, well, sometimes I'll take some from down here 
and I grab closer to the top and I'll start curling oh, from closer up and then just go all the way down to the bottom and it will blend it a little bit but then I kind of want to fix this right here too and then I'll just grab some from up here and since my bangs are going away from my face, I'll bring this towards my face. But I'll just start curling from higher up. So it puts a little curl right there. And then I'll grab another one and curl away from my face. And then see there's a gap right there, I'll grab some right here. And then I'll just sort of play with it until I'm happy. But this side looks pretty much done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all right. And then we move on to the other side. And this went away from my face. So this side's going to go away from my face. So I'll grab a little piece from right here. And I will curl away from my face. Oh, I grabbed too tiny of a piece. Where? Grab a little more. There we go. That that'll work. There we go. Oh, what is wrong with this part of my head? What is going on there? Anyway, so. I curled this piece away from my face and then the next piece towards my face. But anyway, I'm going to continue and do the rest of my head, just remember back and forth. And then after I'm done with that, I'll be back. Alrighty, so now that you've got all of it curled, you think you're done? Do you think you're done? Because you're not. Except I don't know how I'm going to show you this next part because this is going to be really difficult. You guys are sitting in my sink and there's a mirror behind you and um, to do the back of my head because I see so many people that walk around the front of their hair is all perfect and then the back of their head is like they just woke up. So what I do is I take one of these little, ooh that's dirty. Anyway, I take one of these little mirrors, these little doodaddies, clean it off, and that didn't really work. Oh, hey, look. Hi. <laughs> take one of these, and I, oh, gosh, I have no idea how I'm going to show this to you guys, but since there's a mirror behind me, you'll get what I'm saying. Maybe you'll be able to see it. Can you see it? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway, I hold it up, and I just check the back of my head and say I want to curl, maybe add a curl here. I'll grab it, and then I can turn myself around. That was really difficult, but I did it. <laughs> and then I will curl it. Because it's in the back of your head and it's kind of hard to see what you're doing, you know what I'm saying? You know? So, yeah. I think that's, that's good. I think that's good, yeah? How's the back of my head, guys? How's the back? Beautiful? Tell me it's beautiful. Oh, look at that. Look at that curl. It's being ridiculous. Anyway, you get the point? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, so now everyone go curl their hair right now. Because I did a wonderful job. Yes, I did. I did. Yeah, so if your hair doesn't hurt a whole little bit, if your hair doesn't hurt curl, if your hair doesn't hold curl, go ahead and use hairspray. I don't like to use hairspray. I hardly ever use it. I used to use it. I used to have a mohawk and uh, I used to stand it up and I used a lot of hairspray. I used to take it to school and I'd take my old straightener and I'd be in the bathroom. 
my, my mohawk. Those were the days. <laughs> anyway, so hopefully that wasn't too confusing and I hope I helped somebody out there who doesn't have a curling iron, just has a straightener. And uh, yeah, pretty curls, yes? Yes. Okay, now I need to stop admiring myself. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.